Mega projects don't happen overnight. In many cases, putting together such a gigantic construction project takes years, even decades, and runs billions of dollars. But being able to gaze upon the magnificence of the end result makes all the time and money absolutely worth it. Here are the 10 most impressive mega projects currently in development around the world. The UAE loves its buildings tall. And by tall, we mean extremely, extraordinarily, almost unnecessarily tall. Currently, the city of Dubai boasts the tallest skyscraper on Earth, the 3,044-foot Burj Khalifa. But once the Jeddah Tower reaches completion, it will tower over the Khalifa by 236 feet, reaching an incredible 3,280 feet tall, or 1,000 meters. It won't just be a big building, though. It's planned as the epicenter of Jeddah Economic City, a 57 million square foot metropolis filled with residential and commercial zones along with fancy tourist attractions. The building itself will sport a 2,178-foot-high observation deck, a Four Seasons Hotel, over 400 apartments, and seven duplexes. The price tag for this whole thing? A whopping $1.4 billion. That said, the Jetta is currently not even close to completion. After several years of work, in late 2017, the tower stood at 826 feet high. Sadly, it's not grown an inch since then. Around that time, two of Jeddah's wealthiest benefactors, the Saudi Arabian prince Al-Walid bin Talal and the chairman of construction company Bin Laden Group, he's that guy's half-brother, were arrested as part of the Saudi Arabian anti-corruption purge. Everyone had planned to resume construction in 2020, though due to coronavirus concerns, who knows if that will happen. Eventually, the world will have a completed Jeddah Tower, and it will be magnificent. But those days may be far off. Have you ever wanted to experience the sun right here on Earth? No? Well, too bad, because the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor is primed to be complete within the next few years. This France-based project is a collaboration among 35 different nations and will cost an estimated $20 billion. What are we getting for that money? Oh, not much. Just the ability to recreate the sun's internal fusion reactions right here on Earth. If successful, being able to create our own solar fusion would completely revolutionize energy production and the energy industry. To accomplish this, the ITEF requires three buildings surrounding a 337,000-ton magnetic chamber called the tokamak. Inside the tokamak are the solar particles that, when heated to a balmy 150 million degrees Celsius or 270 million degrees Fahrenheit, collide and create plasma that can then be converted into energy. As for those buildings, each one is made from 10 different types of super strong concrete because that's the only way to protect the workers inside from all the resulting radiation. Currently, the ITEF is set for completion in 2025. Even if it misses that deadline, we shouldn't worry too much. Most likely, the real sun will still be there. Few modes of transportation are cooler than a bullet train, a super fast ride that all but shoots you cross country like, well, a bullet. Japan has been on the bullet train bandwagon since 1964, and with the upcoming Chuo Shinkansen, they've primed to become the undisputed kings of the industry. The Chuo Shinkansen, once completed, will almost certainly be the fastest train on the planet. At its fastest, it will exceed 500 kilometers per hour, or 310 miles per hour, which would put it just a smidge slower than many airplanes. At this kind of speed, you could depart Tokyo and reach the city of Nagoya some 284 kilometers away and do so in under 40 minutes. That's nothing more than pure blinding speed. Best of all, the beautiful Japanese countryside won't have to deal with too much railway getting in the way of the scenic view. 90% of the tracks will be underground, which in addition to looking better, will cut the travel distance by around 50 kilometers and save nearly $5 billion. So, if you're in Japan come 2027, when the Chuo Shinkansen project is set to complete, hold on to your stomachs and enjoy one of the fastest rides in history. In southeastern Washington state sits the Hanford Nuclear Waste Site, the single most toxic place in the entire United States. The 586-square-mile site started churning out nuclear fuel in 1943, including the plutonium used to create the atomic bomb the U.S. dropped on Nagasaki at the end of World War II. Between its nine reactors, five plutonium complexes, and 177 underground storage tanks, the site amassed over 56 million gallons of highly radioactive sludge by 1987. In 1989, an effort to clean up the site began, which is still ongoing, with no solid date for completion. The plan is to build a waste management plant that can turn the nuclear waste into glass we can safely store away for however long it takes to become safe again. 
This, however, has proven easier said than done. The main reason is money. Cleaning up all this toxicity costs roughly $2 billion a year, which can prove costly over 30-plus years. Of course, the other reason is worker safety. The last thing we need is to rush a project like this and put countless workers at risk of nuclear exposure. In February 2019, the Department of Energy revised their original plans for completion. Originally, they predicted an end date of 2047, but now we're thinking anywhere from 2079 to 2102. By then, the project could cost upward of $660 billion. Whatever the date, it's safe to say none of us will be around to celebrate a waste-free Hanford Zone. Dams may not seem like the coolest, most romantic things on the planet, but Ethiopia's planned Grand Renaissance Dam may just change your mind. This monstrosity has been in the works since 2011 and is currently set for completion in 2022 at a cost of around $4.8 billion. Upon its completion, it will become the largest hydroelectric plant in all of Africa. The dam will stand 155 meters tall, or 508 feet, and stretch around 1,800 meters or 5,900 feet across and will require 10 million tons of concrete to construct. That much size and power will quite literally reshape Ethiopia's energy production practices. The dam will be capable of generating nearly 6.5 gigawatts of power. With that much power, Marty McFly and Doc Brown probably would have traveled to the year 50,000 and back. Not everyone in the country wants this dam, however. Its hefty price tag takes up around 6% of Ethiopia's gross domestic product, and over 20,000 people had to be relocated so construction could commence. Unfortunately for them, the dam is definitely happening. Let's just hope it doesn't cause further hardship to the people it's designed to help. If you're traveling to Australia and need a truly swank place to stay, consider one Barangaroo well, when it's completed anyway. Otherwise known as Crown Sydney, One Barangaroo is set to become the single tallest building in all of Sydney, Australia. Its outer walls will contain over 7,000 triangle-shaped crystal panels, each one totally unique. The construction is inspired by twisting petals, making the building stand out just that much more. This won't be your typical high-rise and will be simply awe-inspiring to look at, but its outer appearance is nothing compared to what lies inside. This building will contain 82 apartments, each one totally unique to the other apartments. A casino, an open-air tennis court, a Michelin star sporting restaurant, two infinity pools, a tennis court, a spa, and the first-ever six-star hotel in the country's history. It's the kind of indoor life that will make you travel to Australia but never actually see the continent. You'll be too busy living a life of absolute luxury. One Barangaroo is set to open in 2021 and is currently accepting requests for information. If that's not a sign they feel they'll be ready to go in time, what is? The flight industry has taken some hits this past year, but soon enough we'll be back in the skies. When that happens, the United States needs to be ready. They're currently set to host both the 2026 FIFA World Cup and the 2028 Summer Olympics, meaning the entire world will be flying in. This means many airports are receiving major overhauls, but perhaps none more so than O'Hare International Airport in Chicago. It will be the first major reconstruction of the airport in its history and is currently set to cost around $8.5 billion. The work is set to be completed in stages. Terminal 5 is first, receiving a simple expansion for the deadline of 2022. Meanwhile, Terminal 2 is set to be completely redone. The airport will add 280,000 square meters, or over 3 million square feet, along with 50 more gates and two satellite concourses. It will become, in every sense of the term, a global hub. Don't expect Terminal 2 to debut until 2028. Sorry, soccer fans. But once it does, there will be no other airport you'd rather travel in or out of. Dubai does absolutely nothing small, and this includes their upcoming resorts. In 2003, the country announced Dubai Land, which will be an absolute monolith once completed. It will be around 278 square kilometers, or nearly three times the size of Disney World. It will feature theme park attractions, as well as science realms, sporting venues, and hotels. One such hotel will be the world's biggest hotel upon completion, sporting an asinine 6,500 rooms. Oh, and did we mention the Mall of Arabia, a 10 million square foot shopping mall? Because Dubai Land will have that too. Why wouldn't it? Five years after announcing Dubai Land, construction of the mega project ceased due to the global recession causing Dubai's real estate market to crash hard. It didn't really kick off again until 2013, when Dubai Properties Group purchased the entire project and decided to finish. They claimed they would have everything up and ready to go in 18 months. Over seven years later, this has not happened. 
Dubai Land has proven a slow dream to realize. Certain parts are open, such as the Miracle Garden and Dubai Parks and Resorts, but over 20 sites still remain under construction. This includes the Mall of Arabia, because you just can't keep a good gargantuan shopzilla down. In 2015, California began construction of a new, super speedy train that would get people from one end of their large state to another. By the looks of how this project is going, this train will become a reality soon enough. This new high-speed train will be capable of hitting speeds approaching 200 miles per hour. It will use that speed to connect eight of the biggest cities in California, beginning in San Diego and ending up all the way in San Francisco. For those of you not from California who may think the state's most famous cities border each other, there are actually 500 miles separating the two destinations. Having a bullet train zipping between the two sounds incredibly helpful. In addition, this railway will be among the most eco-friendly ways to travel by train yet. The plan is for this train to be completely electric and run by nothing but renewable energy. Don't expect this fast green wonder to hit the road until 2029, but once it's ready, so will the passengers. Just about anything in space could be considered a major project, but the Aurora Station is truly mega in every way. A company called Orion Span plans to launch what they call a luxury space hotel. Their goal is to launch Aurora in late 2021 and start taking space tourists in 2022. You'll get quite a bit of room up in Aurora. The room for four measures around 43 feet long by 14 feet wide, though you'll likely be so busy staring out the window watching the whole entire Earth silently floating 200 miles below, you may not even notice the rest of the room. If you want to go to space, be prepared to undergo a rigorous three-month training program. Outer space isn't exactly the beach after all. Also, be prepared to fork over massive amounts of money. Orion Span plans to charge tourists upwards of $9.5 million for a 12-day spacecation. That's way cheaper than the $40 million you'll need to hang around the International Space Station, but it's also still more money than you'll likely ever see in your life. As for how Orion Span plans to launch Aurora into orbit, who knows? They're not telling us, so it's highly possible this mega project could wind up a mega bust. But until that day comes, we can dream of one day pretending to be a UFO, surveying the next planet on our to-conquer list.